Here's how to install a Dominator X winch into your four-wheel drive. First, get everything out of the box. You should have the winch, winch controller, clevis hook, control box and wiring, and a packet of bolts. Depending on your model of vehicle, you may need to remove underbody protection or remove the bull bar to fit the winch like we have. If you're installing a bull bar, it's a smart idea to install the winch at the same time. Once you can get into where the winch will sit, take the four square nut certs and fit them into the winch. Then, set the clutch to free spool so you can pull the rope through the bar once the winch is installed. Make sure you position the winch so the rope pulls from the bottom of the drum. Place the winch up in the bull bar and get a mate to help you line the bolts up. If you're doing the install on your own, you can use a jack to hold the winch in place if you haven't had to take your bar off. Once the four bolts are in, tighten all of them up. Now the winch is installed, it's time to wire it up. Fit the control box to the bull bar and bolt it down. You may need to drill some new mounting holes in your bar if there aren't any pre-drilled ones. Once the control box is attached, run the wires down to the post on the winch motor. Use a 13mm spanner to undo the top nuts on the terminals and fit the wires. The red wire goes to the red coloured terminal, the yellow wire goes to the yellow coloured terminal and the black goes to black. Once they're connected, tighten up the nuts and secure the wires with cable ties. Make sure the wires don't go near the winch rope as they could potentially rub when the winch is operating. Take the long separate black wire and connect it to the ground terminal that is separate to the other three. You can also connect the small black solenoid ground to this terminal too. Next, run the long red wire and long separate black wire up to your battery. Connect the positive wire first, then connect the negative. Then, cable tie both wires neatly back down to the winch. Pull the winch rope through the fair lead and attach the clevis hook to the eyelet on the end like this. Then, engage the clutch on the winch and it's time to spool the winch under tension. To spool the winch under tension, run the rope most of the way out, then re-spool it under a little bit of load against a fixed point so the rope can stretch and the winch can wear in. Then, your winch is ready to use.